modus operandi. Modus operandi. How this foreigners get the disease? So, NID student, the 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 fact that NID the the lady said that uh, never issued a. Uh, it means that they are trying to deny again and again. From the beginning, they keep on denying. Also in my book, also in my book about this book, uh, less, less we forget. Again here, I elaborated, given all the documental facts and figures about how they got their IC, how the government organized to issue them IC. During the election petition 1999, Likas election petition, you know, Edward Iwal Mujia, he was then a registering officer of the election commission. Prior to that election, we have a public inquiry about the would-be new voters to Likas constituency. During the public inquiry, all those people who presented themselves were asked, how did you get your IC? And they replied, Project Mahathir. And they were asked, where were you born? We were born in Philippines or we were born in Indonesia. And yet, not to fault Edward, the wall, the higher authority election commission accepted all of them except one. So that's election commission in Akaraya. Oh, he, he, he's, uh, because his database, his IC was a fake IC, not the genuine IC for foreigners, a fake IC. See, IC got two types, one is fake, one is genuine. Yeah. <laughs> the, the real genuine IC for foreigners was a real project IC for foreigners. Yeah. I'll come to that. So, also in my book, uh, there are instances of foreigners saying, uh, like this one, I think you feel familiar. They did expect two years, three years ago. They said, we come to Sabah following our father during the Civil World War in Southern Philippines. They said, uh, we follow our parents. But in their my class, it was stated they were born in Sabah. <laughs> When we asked the JPN, we said, oh, they are citizens, the cards are genuine. So how can NRD said, no, my card to illegal immigrants. And then another guy in Star, newspaper, Star, also the same year. He also said the same thing. This fellow was still, oh, she had my card. I think she had one more, she had one more, she had one more, she had one more. Another one in my book, uh, the Filipino went to Naik Aji, 1996. Naik, 1996, Naik Aji with Filipino passport. Inside it, he stated born in Philippines. Tapi, the lady has blue IC, has bunga raya, now got my card, all say stated born in Sabah. I just she's, she's still a voter in uh, in the past, she was a voter in Ilopora. Now she is a You remember not June 2002, before Sabah opened for application for my car? Before, huh? But already in the, in the interior of Kampung Kota in Gimengau, there are people in possession of my card. Yes. When NRD was asked by Datuk Chong, Tan Sri Chong Kaket then, the Chief Minister, to go deeply investigate how these interior people could have my card before we Sabah open for application. Chong Kaket asked, you know. And then the NRD went and investigated, they replied in the paper, said, the cards are genuine and they are Malaysian. That's how just public just are now like that. Another way of ignoring public inquiry and concern, you see. Another, another uh, with the evidence that NRD are uh, denied to the end. I come back again to that. 
Okay, Salman Majid case. Do you know Salman Majid? Salman Majid case. <coughs> Three years ago, he was arrested for 199 days, detained in airport, KL airport, before he reported to Pakistan. Somebody intervened, he was released, and the government wanted to expatriate him, but he asked, Kapasing as his lawyer, Kapasing asked for stay of uh, expatriate, ex you know, because he said he wanted to sue the government for wrongful, de uh, uh, wrongful detention, wrong, wrongful uh, revocation of his Malaysian citizenship. During that time, the Director General of Immigration said, We confiscated your IC, your password. Revoke your citizenship because you falsified your CJ Act 1 in 1984 when you applied for your IC. Where in the CJ Act 1 you stated you are born in Ranau, which in fact was not. So, court case. The trial. The passing his lawyer. His only witness is Dato Haris, our former CM. The outcome of the the outcome of the trial, he won the case. So the judge declared him a uh, rightful citizen of the nation. Initially, you said he was he falsified, say born in Ranau. Why did why did why couldn't the government win that case? My suspect is that the government side did not produce all the evidence in court. How can the judge? give you the verdict if you don't produce the, the, the evidence. And my suspect is this. If I let Salman Mani kalah, let the Salman Mani with all the evidence showing that Sijin Afan falsified, therefore you are not a citizen, that would affect hundreds of thousands of project exit holders in Salman. Yeah. Next case. You know, TJ Pirala is a local lawyer here. He handled a case Okay, this man. Will you go and read this? Very interesting case. An Indian restaurant owner in KK. And arrested and kept in uh, Rumah Mira. After some months, the family get hold of one lawyer. That's TJ Pirera. So PJ Pirera prepared a document, wrote all the letters, filed in the court, sued the government for wrongful detention, wrongful revocation, because of all the stories stated here. To, to, to briefly, yeah, uh, the important thing, this man arrived in Malaysia in 1983 from India with passport, which means he was born in India. And he also said he got his IC from NRTKK in 1993-94. You know what? He said he was from India, born in India. But I can say that my country was stated born in Sabah. Born in Sabah. Chris uh, Maya. And I said, you don't issue my card to illegal immigrants, legal or you know, the foreigners. In so many evidence. Even Suhakam, uh, 2008 in the Suhakam annual report, uh, also stated there are so many Filipino Indonesian complaints to them. They have IC, they have my card, and yet, and they have voted so many times in the past. And yet, uh, when they do this, and they do the, 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 the face restriction and all this, all this. So this, my card, they are genuine. Why still facing all this? I give you all a copy, just in, for your information. Ma. What what the Suakam said? Uh, uh, they also complain, they're human rights. They are human also, is it? Lastly, uh, about this uh, my cut to illegal immigrants. You know, Tan Sri Bertinopo was chairman of the parliamentary select committee.